hopefully we can all agree that long division is annoying and tedious. Not necessarily difficult, but it's tedious and long, which is not something that usually any of us love. So we do have this thing that sometimes works depending on what your divisor is. We call it synthetic dis division, right? Synthetic, like it's a, a fake kind of division. Um, so when we have synthetic division, it makes this process quicker, but it only works when your divisor, so it only works if your divisor is x plus a number or x minus a number. If it's anything else, you have to use your long division. So if I give you something like x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 5 divided by x minus 3, this divisor here is x plus or minus a number. So that means that we can use synthetic division since it's written as x minus a number. Okay. Now, the way that we use synthetic division is this. So this thing here, your divisor, um, you're going to take this number and you're going to change the sign from here to here. So this thing still goes on the outside, but you're going to change the sign. So this goes to a 3. Now, for some bizarre reason, instead of having your divide sign that goes like this, we do our divide sign like this. It just is how it is. It's an upside down one. It is what it is. So then what you're going to do is right here goes all the coefficients of the dividend. And you have to put in zeros. for missing powers. So on long division, you can choose to put in zeros for missing powers. On synthetic division, you have to put in zeros for missing powers. So I check, cube, squared, one, none. So I have no missing powers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my coefficients. So my coefficients are all of these numbers. So we've got, this one's an unsaid one. So one, four, negative five, five. And I kind of just leave some space in between them, okay? So then you're going to bring down this first number. Bring down first number. Okay. That's an important step. Don't miss that. Otherwise, it'll mess it up. Okay. So then we do uh, this thing where we go this thing times this thing equals here. So we multiply and get to here. So multiply, put your answer here. So I'm going to put... So you can see that that's multiplied. So three times one gives us three. We put our answer here, and then we're going to add straight down. Okay. So when I add four plus three, that gives me seven. Then I'm gonna do that same kind of process. So now I do three times seven, and I put this answer here. So our three times seven is 21. Okay. So then if we do three, or sorry, negative five plus 21, we're going adding straight down, right? Okay, I think I said negative three. This is a negative five. So if we do negative five plus 21, that gives us 16. So this is 16. Then I'm gonna do that same kind of thing where I multiply these ones. So three times 16, and I'm gonna put that here. So our three times 16 gives us 48. And then I'm going to add straight down, right? So I kind of think of like a, a ball, like bounce the ball, put it here, add straight down. Bounce the ball, put it here, add straight down. Bounce the ball, put it here, add straight down. So if we do the 5 plus the 48, that gives us 53. Okay? Put that in a darker color. So then, remember we were doing an x cubed divided by an x. So what happens is that this power gets knocked down by 1. So that means that this is our x cubed power. Then we just go in descending order from there. So cubed, squared, one, none.
Oh, I forgot to knock the power down. I was like, something is bizarre. I said knock the power down, and then I forgot to actually knock the power down. So, since this was a cubed, it goes to a squared. There we go. X squared, X to the first, X to the nothing, and then this is our remainder. Remember that anything to the zero power is one. So when we write out our answer, this is just x squared plus seven x plus 16. Then we do plus 53 divided by, you still write as divided by your divisor. So we do x minus three. So then this whole thing is our answer. So notice it's much quicker. It takes a minute to get used to it, but it's much quicker um, than our synthetic or than our long division. Okay, so let's try another example. If I give you 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8, and we want that divided by x plus 2. Okay. So the first thing I'm looking at is, can I synthetically divide this? So I'm looking at my divisor, and I'm thinking, is this x plus a number or x minus a number? If it is, then you can synthetically divide. So since this is x plus a number, then we can synthetically divide. So, then we change our sign from here to the outside. So we have negative two, and then I'm gonna put all of my coefficients in descending order. So we have three, one, none. But I'm gonna also need to check to see if we skipped any power. So we went from three to one, so I did skip, so this is really plus zero x squared. So when I go to put my coefficients, I need to do five, zero, six, eight. That zero is not optional. You have to put that there. If you do not put that there, you will get the incorrect answer. Okay. So I bring down the five. And then again, we're gonna do that little ball thing. So these multiply, so negative two times five gives us negative 10. And then I'm gonna add straight down, so zero plus 10 or sorry, zero plus a negative 10 is negative 10. Then we do negative two times negative 10, gives us a positive 20. So then I add straight down, so six plus 20 gives us 26. And then I'm gonna do negative two times 26. So that gives us um, 54, sorry, 52. So negative two times 26, oh, and it's negative as well. Don't drop negatives, that's not a good thing. And then we do eight plus a negative 52, which gives us um, uh, I don't know where my brain just went. It gives us 44. And it's negative, wow. So then, um, I'm just going to double check real fast. So 5, negative 10, negative 10, positive 20, that's really 26, that's really 52, it's really negative, and I add, and that gives me negative 44. Okay, I was making a whole bunch of weird errors, so I just wanted to double check everything. So it was a third power, so it's going to be knocked down to a second power. So x squared, x to the first, x to the nothing, and then our remainder. So our answer is 5x squared minus 10x plus 26, remember that x to the zero is one, so it's really 26 times one, which is just 26. And then we've got, you can either do plus a negative 44 divided by x plus two, or you could write it as five x squared minus 10 x plus 26, and then do minus 44 divided by x plus two. Okay? Either of those are acceptable answers. Notice here I did plus the negative, and then this I just simplified to a negative. But both of those are fine answers. Okay, so that's our process for synthetic division.